All right, hello everyone, and uh, thanks for joining me today on uh, Theology on Tap. I want to talk about Norm McDonald today, and uh, because he's on the news because Jimmy Fallon canceled out on him. Why? Because Norm McDonald said a few things, I guess, uh, about the Me Too movement. And, well, basically what he said was in the past, it took 100 women to make things believable. Uh, and then it became one person, one woman saying something, uh, and everybody believed. But now, woman doesn't even have to say anything. Everybody's on the woman's side. So he was kind of glad that, that the Me Too movement is not as popular as it used to be because uh, he thought that things were going, getting kind of out of control. He also talked about uh, Louis C.K. and also Roseanne Barr, and especially Roseanne Barr because he's a good friend of Roseanne Barr. And uh, he thought that the, the tough times that she's going through um, was, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say unfair, but it was uh, kind of hard uh, situation for Roseanne. And uh, he actually said, whatever happened to forgiveness? In fact, we don't really learn, know how to forgive anymore because everybody is offended by almost everything. Because people are going with their feelings rather than facts. And when I took psychology many, many years ago, what I, I do remember uh, when we talked about the fact that if you want to be happy in life, right? If you want to go on happy with, in your life, don't trust your feelings. Learn to control your feelings. Push, push aside your feelings when, thing, uh, when it's pushing you to be depressed. But now, uh, we don't say that anymore. It says, if your feelings are hurt, uh, speak it out loud. And that's what everybody is doing. And it's gotten way too far uh, to a point where nobody can say anything. You can't. I mean, I'm the kind of person that used to offend a lot of people too. But these days, I just can't say anything. Because I'm so afraid of offending people. And it's gotten way too far. And I think if you go to hashtag I am with Norm, um, it's talking about how Jimmy Fallon canceled out on him. Because I guess um, somebody in his crew was so offended by Norm MacDonald that uh, they were crying and things like that. Once again, going with their feelings. And uh, Jimmy Fallon had a great opportunity to have Norm MacDonald on to talk about his show that's coming out on Netflix called uh, I, uh, Norm MacDonald Has a Show. Um, Jimmy Fallon could have asked him about what he meant, clarify things, if you will, but he didn't do that. He canceled out on Norm. Maybe it has to do something with the fact that many, many years ago when Norm MacDonald was on Saturday Night Live, he used to make fun of, uh, on his fake news um, show, um, he used to make fun of O.J. Simpson quite a bit. And I guess the president of NBC at the time were friends with O.J. Simpson and he, he, Norm MacDonald was fired because he kept on making fun of O.J. Simpson. Maybe NBC still remembers uh, Norm MacDonald from that time and didn't trust what Norm MacDonald would say. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. Well, in fact, I think Netflix is kind of worried about what Norm MacDonald would say too because you, know, you gotta remember, Norm MacDonald is a Republican, he's a Christian. You know, when he talks about Jesus, uh, he always says, uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, which makes it really funny. Um, but he's a Christian, Republican, conservative, and, and uh, Netflix kind of told him not to talk about politics. Maybe Netflix is afraid that Norm MacDonald will be offending a lot of people because of who he is. Um, who knows? But if you go to hashtag I am with Norm, You'll see a lot of people are on it in his side. Maybe Norm MacDonald will put out the, our society back to common sense society rather than being offended by everything society. Like maybe Norm MacDonald is the one. He was on The View today, this morning, and even Whoopi uh, Goldberg was on Norm MacDonald's side. She was very understanding. I was surprised, actually. I thought they were going to hand it to him, but uh, they were very, very fair. Although I have to say, Norm MacDonald didn't really seem like normal Norm MacDonald. He was very, very, very careful. I think the whole interview, he only cracked one joke. That was pretty hilarious, but he only cracked one joke, which means that he was on top of his game as far as being sensitive. And I never seen Norm MacDonald that sensitive, so it didn't look very good, but he had to do what he had to do, I guess. Um, yeah, so hopefully Norm McDonald will bring common sense back to our society. I uh, hope that uh, his show will be tremendously uh, popular. I hope that uh, his show will be on for a long, long time. Anyways, um, 
Since he's my favorite comedian, I thought I'll uh, talk about him a little bit today. Uh, gr I wish great success for him. And please look up Norm McDonald and his jokes on YouTube and go to hashtag I'm with Norm and see what people are talking about. All right, God bless you and uh, I'll see you next time.